So how do I gather up a bunch of us, get together, pick somebody's yard, somebody's backyard, and just dig it up till we find something? Huh? How do I orchestrate that, bro? I don't know. I, I, seeing these videos, man, be making me want to gather a bunch of us together to do it, right? But this video here is archaeologists dug up a California sand dune, and what they discovered left them speechless. So we're going to check it out. If you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to come dig with me, man, y'all let me know. We meet up somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's check it out. We've discovered a lot of ancient artifacts. But while many of them tell us about our past, some bring up more questions than answers. Many puzzling discoveries have been unearthed in recent years, and a lot of them remain shrouded in mystery. From an ancient mask with alien metals to a mysterious Egyptian cult, here are the 15 most mysterious archaeological finds and artifacts scientists still can't explain. Number 15. Ancient Mask with Alien Metals In 2019, a rare pre-Columbian mask fragment washed ashore in Florida. The original mask was believed to be from a $4 billion sunken treasure off the coast of Melbourne Beach. It was believed to have been dropped by a Spanish ship that sank in 1715 while sailing from Cuba to Spain. The artifact is an ancient funeral mask from Peru that's about 10,000 to 12,000 years old. It's made out of metal, and the way it was crafted puzzled archaeologists. It's one of the earliest examples of metalworking being made by a pre-Columbian culture. Many commended the metalwork that was put into creating the mask, but what made it special are the materials used to create it. The See, that's my biggest fear, like coming across something like this and not realizing that I have something of value, man, and just chunking it out in the, in, in, uh, in the yard somewhere on the ground or something like that in the trash and not knowing that that's like a fear of mine, man. Put into creating the mask, but what made it special are the materials used to create it. The death mask was mainly made out of death copper, mask. but it also contains traces of gold and silver, as well as a rare metal called iridium. Pure iridium is one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust, with only 0.001 parts per million. It's an alien metal found in meteorites, and even during the pre-Columbian era it was considered special. The mask was likely given as a gift to royalty, but was stolen by Spanish tomb raiders in the 1700s. This mask is evidence that pre-Columbian societies knew how to extract precious metals. And perhaps they also knew that meteorites contain precious materials. The other parts of the mask are still missing, and the search for the shipwreck continues. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. 1,000-year-old mummy in fetal position bound by rope. Mummies are usually buried in a respectable manner, especially royals who are often carefully placed inside a coffin stored in a sarcophagus. However, a mummy found at the site of Cajamarquia in Peru seemed to be quite unique. It was found inside an oval tomb with a seven-tier staircase. The thousand-year-old mummy was bound by a rope in a fetal position, with its hands clasped to its face. The mummified remains belong to a young man not older than 35 years old. His pose... Yeah, the way he was posing, uh, he did something wrong. Definitely did something wrong. The remains belong to a young man not older than 35 years old. His pose led many to believe that he was a victim of human sacrifice or brutal treatment. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Experts claim that the fetal position he was in and the pose of his face were more likely gestures of religious significance than signs of suffering. Besides, That's religious? That looks more like horrified, scared, don't want to see it coming, cover my eyes and just let it happen type situation. The mummy were also the remains of an Andean guinea pig and a skeleton of a dog. The animals, along with the tomb and the well-preservation of the mummy, show that the young man was of high status, or a merchant, when he was still alive. There were also signs that the tomb was frequently visited and offerings being left inside for years. There are still a lot of things to learn about this unique mummy, and analysis of the remains is still ongoing. Number 13. Mysterious Ancient Greek Game Made of Bones Most of the toys and gadgets we have today make sense to us. But imagine if someone in the future who was clueless about our generation picked up a fidget spinner or a Nerf gun. They might be a little confused or puzzled about its purpose. Even modern archaeologists are sometimes stumped when they discover something odd from thousands of years ago. Recently, archaeologists found several pieces of knuckle bones from sheep legs in Israel. At first, they were puzzled about their purpose, but as it turned out, 
They were part of a mysterious ancient divination game from 2,300 years ago. It's called Astragaloi, or literally ankles. This game was played in antiquity, not only by the Greeks, but also by the Romans. So that's another way of them shooting dice back in the day, huh? Or, or if you're in Vegas somewhere, the proper term is craps, huh? <laughs> when, you, when you're on the corner somewhere, you're playing around on the street by a wall or something, it's dice. And a, and a casino is crap, so that might have been what they was doing back then. This game was played in antiquity, not only by the Greeks, but also by the Romans. The game is played just like the modern Jack, but it can also be used as an oracle. Some of the pieces contained inscriptions of Greek gods and goddesses, including Aphrodite, Hera, Nike, Eros, and more. There are also other strange inscriptions, including the words robber, stop, and the sentence, you are burnt. It's believed that the Romans and the Greeks used these knucklebones to pass time and to seek the help of magic to answer their uncertainties about life and death. Number 12. The Mysterious Death of King Tutankhamun Tutankhamun became the pharaoh of Egypt in 1332 BC, when he was only 8 or 9 years old. His rule over Egypt was short-lived, but his status as a king heightened once again when archaeologists discovered his tomb in the Valley of Kings. There they found numerous treasures, but nothing was more important than the sarcophagus that held the mummified remains of the pharaoh. Archaeologists wanted to open it shortly after it was found. However, many were worried that the opening of the tomb of a pharaoh that remained undisturbed for more than 3,000 years would unleash a curse on the world. Some people involved in the tomb's excavation died, but many believed that the deaths were nothing but coincidences. When the young pharaoh's tomb... I know y'all saw the sweat coming on Buddy's face. That lets me know right there. I don't need to be down here, fam. Look at the sweat. That's <laughs> that sweat coming off. That's him being nervous. Him being... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He shouldn't have been down there. But many believed that the deaths were nothing but coincidences. When the young pharaoh's him. tomb was finally opened, archaeologists immediately tried to remove the body from the sacred oil that coated the coffin which resulted in the remains being damaged. For many years, archaeologists were puzzled as to how King Tutankhamun died at such a young age. King Tut was only 18 years old when he passed away, and because his remains were damaged, no one could confirm the cause of his death. Some suspected that the pharaoh was murdered, but recent research suggests that he might not have been killed after all. A 3D scan revealed that the young king was in poor health during the last of his days, and he also had a broken leg. The most accepted theory is that the young king fell down from one of his chariots, which was also found in his tomb. This fall might have been the last thing his body could take. His weakened immune system and his broken bone might have been the reason for his death. However, archaeologists are still not confident enough to conclude that the mystery behind King Tutankhamun's death is solved just yet. Number 11 mysterious structure found at the bottom of an ancient lake. About 30 feet underneath the Sea of Galilee in Israel is a mysterious structure. It first came to the attention of scientists by accident in 2003 when they surveyed the bottom of the lake. The giant structure is made out of basalt rocks. It measures about 230 feet at the base of the structure and is about 30 feet tall. It's believed to be a monumental structure that weighs a staggering 60,000 tons and is twice the size of the stone circle at Stonehenge in England. The monumental structure is believed to date back to 4,000 years ago, but this is just a rough estimate. Little is known about this underwater oddity. No one knows who built the structure, its exact purpose, and exactly how long ago it was built. When divers took a look at the structures up close, they discovered that the structure was made of basalt boulders, with some up to 3.2 feet long, all stacked up in a cone shape. The structure is only a few feet away from several prehistoric sites such as the ancient city of bet Yara, which flourished more than 4,000 years ago. The early settlers of the ancient city may be the ones who built this now underwater cairn, but we can't say for sure. The purpose of this monumental structure, however, is now enigmatic. No one knows if it was used as a ramp, a ceremonial site, or something else entirely. Archaeologists are looking to excavate the entire underwater cairn in hopes to learn more information about it. Number 10. The Key to the Secrets of Ancient Civilization On July 19, 1799, Pierre Bouchard's men were working on a construction job when they stumbled upon an ancient stone slab. Little did they know that the stone they found would change the world. This is the Rosetta, Rosetta stone. stone. It's a steel about 44 inches by 29 inches by 11 inches in size. The stone has three sides, 
each with the inscription of a decree issued in Memphis, Egypt. The entire text was written in Egyptian and Greek, but it was also written in three writing systems. Hieroglyphics, which were used by priests at the time, Demotic, which was a simple script understood by many, and finally, Ancient Greek. The decree talks about Ptolemy V who ruled from 204 to 181 BC. However, the text isn't what's important about the stone, but the fact that it was written in three different scripts. When the Rosetta Stone was first discovered, no one knew how to read hieroglyphics, but some scholars could still read Ancient Greek. The stone made it easier for researchers to understand and decipher hieroglyphics. Which Think about it, y'all. In the near future, if the planet survives, trust me, with everything I've been watching and everything, you never know. But if the planet survives another however long, they're going to be studying our language, looking at stuff that we did and looking at our language and being like, wow, they spoke English this style. You know what I mean? Do you ever think about that? Like we're going to be studied at some point in time. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. And then they're probably going to have so much technology that it'll be easy for them. Which made it an incredibly important discovery. Number nine, the mysterious La Brea woman. In 1914, several people dug up the skeleton of a woman in the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. Based on the partial skeletons found, she died when she was between 18 and 25 years old, about 10,000 years ago, making her one of the earliest residents of Los Angeles County. What's intriguing is that her skeleton was the only one found in the area. This was odd considering the Native American Chumash and Tongva people, as well as their ancestors, have lived in the area for thousands of years. Archaeologists have repeatedly tried to find other human remains in the pit where the La Brea woman was found, but they still haven't found any. The remains of a dog were found buried with the woman, though, and many believe that the two had a connection. However, modern analysis revealed that the remains of the dog were buried 3,000 years ago, disputing the initial claim. The remains of the La Brea woman have been thoroughly studied since its discovery, and we've discovered several things about her. She stood about 4 feet and 8 inches when she was still alive, and she survived mostly on stone ground meals. Her fractured skull suggested that a blow to the head might have been the one that killed her. There have been several theories as to what really happened to her, but all of them have been disputed. And so, the mystery behind the La Brea woman remains. Number 8. Ark of the Covenant The Ark of the Covenant is one of the most sacred relics on Earth. The Ark of the Testimony, or the Ark of God, is believed to be a wooden chest covered in gold with an intricate lid. It was made some 3,000 years ago by the Israelites to store the stone tablets that contain the Ten Commandments that were said to be written by the finger of God. The Ark was an important relic in many biblical stories. It aided the Israelites on the journey in Exodus. It cleared any inconvenience on their path. And it also allegedly stopped the flow of the river the moment the people carrying it set foot in the water. This relic has puzzled both archaeologists and theologians for centuries. Every time I hear that, it stopped the flow of the water. That just, it just does something to me, man. Every time I hear that. It's one of the most enduring mysteries in history. For many centuries, a lot of people have tried to locate and recover this sacred object, but all the efforts so far were fruitless. The Ark of the Covenant was last stored in the temple in Jerusalem before it vanished. No one knows whether it was destroyed or hidden. Today, there are some claims that the Ark of the Covenant is currently in Ethiopia, in the small town of Aksum in the St. Mary of Zion Cathedral. However, no one can verify it because only one man is allowed to see it. The cathedral has never permitted anyone to see the Ark of the Covenant, even if it was only to check its authenticity. There is also a theory that the Ark was hidden in the passages beneath the first temple in Jerusalem before it was destroyed in 586 BC. Unfortunately, the site is now the location of another religious structure, so it's impossible to excavate. Religious relics have always been intriguing, but also incredibly challenging to find and confirm. After all, there's little information that archaeologists can go by when proving the authenticity of religious relics. Number 7. Ancient Battery Most of the things you use today are powered by a battery. Your phone, your laptop, your tablet, your TV remote, all of these gadgets are only working because of the tiny battery inside giving it energy. But did you know that the very first battery looks something like this? This is the first true battery invented by Volta in 1800. Known as the Voltaic Pile, it's made out of a pair of copper and zinc discs stacked on top of each other with each... But what would they have needed a battery for back then? That's where my mind goes. That's where I start to question. Like, what would they have needed it to do? 
To power what? Each one separated by a layer of cloth soaked in brine. But did you know that there is allegedly a battery invented thousands of years before this one? This is the Baghdad battery. For what? It looks like an ordinary jar with an iron rod inside. However, even though it had a mundane appearance, some experts immediately noticed what it might be. It's unclear when exactly the battery was discovered, with some saying it was unearthed in 1936 and some claiming it was found in 1938. The intriguing artifact was found in Baghdad, and the discoverer Wilhelm Koenig immediately noticed how strange the artifact was. Wilhelm was the first one who proposed that the strange jar was a battery cell. But to this day, no writings or records were found to prove his claim. Curiously enough, the Baghdad battery can store and conduct electricity if vinegar or wine is poured inside. However, the ancient battery only produced around a volt. By modern standards, that's barely any power. But perhaps it might have been enough thousands of years ago. The debate about whether this artifact really is a battery is still up to this day. And another pressing question often arises in discussions about this battery. Why would they even need a battery in the first place? There are several theories about what the real purpose of the battery is. The first theory is that the artifact wasn't used like modern batteries. Instead, it was used for medicine. For instance, the Greeks used to place electric fish on their feet to relieve pain. Some also believe that the battery was used to coat metals and create jewelry. Unfortunately, neither of these have been verified. Number 6. 2 Billion Year Old Nuclear Reactor Nuclear bombs, reactors, and nuclear plants are all creations of modern humans. That's why archaeologists were puzzled when they found a nuclear reactor in Africa that was about 2 billion years old. How is that possible? Before we get into the ancient nuclear reactor, let's talk... And I was thinking about that the other day, too. When you say found, right, that makes me think, okay, are there others out there that we don't know about that could be a potential danger to us? Just had me guess, uh, you know what I mean? Contemplating. Talk about how to make modern ones. To create a modern nuclear reactor, you would need a reactor-grade fuel like uranium, for example. And you need a very specific isotope to ensure that it would be stable enough for the nuclear reactor. This specific uranium needed only makes up about 0.72% of the elements on Earth today. However, 1.7 billion years ago, this particular isotope, or U-235, was about 3.7% of all uranium, which meant it was enough for a reaction to occur. Needless to say, nuclear scientists weren't too happy when they found out that someone beat them into perfecting their craft. After all, the first nuclear reactor that produced energy only started being functional in 1951. This ancient nuclear reactor, however, has been around for 2 billion years. It was discovered in 1972 when French scientists gathered uranium ore from a mine in Gabon, Africa. It was then that they noticed that the uranium there had undergone nuclear fission. The strangest thing is that the nuclear reactor formed by itself. Nature happened to create one of the most complicated structures in the world purely by accident. I guess it's true that nature is the best engineer. Number 5. Strange Alien Mummy Discovered in the Atacama Desert this strange skeleton known as the Atacama Mummy was discovered in 2003. Even after almost two decades since its discovery, it's still the subject of debate. It was found in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, but it was said to be originally buried in the ghost town of La Noria. Anyone who looked at the skeleton thought that it couldn't have belonged to a human. The skeleton exactly. looked like that of an infant at first glance, although it had several peculiar features. For one, the Atacama skeleton was incredibly small, measuring only six inches long. The skeleton may be close to an infant in size, but the bone structure was similar to a six-year-old child. However, instead of 12 pairs of ribs, the skeleton only had 10. But the strangest thing about the skeleton is its conical skull. Because of all its oddities, it was quickly associated with extraterrestrial creatures by many. For many years, UFO enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists all around the world claimed the Atacama Desert Mummy is solid proof that aliens have visited our planet hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Some also proposed that perhaps the mummy was that of a small primate. In the end, both of these theories were disproved. Recently, scientists seem to have finally unlocked the secret of this strange mummy. The mummy, which researchers named Ada, was examined, and they concluded that the small skeleton belonged to a human girl. Researchers analyzed the mummy's DNA as well as the skeleton's bone marrow and concluded that she was a human, and undeniably not an alien. 
But this only led them one step closer to explaining the existence of Ada. No one knows exactly why she was as small as a fetus or why she had a conical head. This time, scientists may have finally hit a dead end. Although it's easy to say that Ada suffered from a genetic disorder that caused her strange appearance, they don't have a way to determine the exact genetic defects she had. We have no information left about her parents or her ancestors. If there's one thing that both archaeologists and researchers agree on, it was that Ada was carefully buried when she died, and someone, perhaps her parents, cared for her when she was alive. Number 4. Archaeologists unearth Sphinx Head in California. Did y'all's eyes automatically go to the smash nose? Look, looking for the smash nose? Her when she was alive. Number four. Archaeologists unearth Sphinx Head in California dunes. One of the most well-known figures of ancient Egypt is the Sphinx. It's a mythological creature with the body of a lion and the head of a person. Its statues are usually built near him. Every time I look for that smash nose, ever since I learned about that important tombs and temples to serve as a guard and a protector. The significance of the Sphinx is renowned in Egypt, with the Great Sphinx of Giza being one of the most well-known statues in the world. True. It was carved by hundreds of workers around 2500 BC, with a head created after the likeness of Pharaoh Khafra. About 4,500 years ago, the Great Sphinx of Giza looked incredibly majestic with the statue strategically facing the sunrise. That's why archaeologists digging in the dunes of Santa Barbara County, California were puzzled when they discovered a 300-pound sphinx head. Given that Egypt is more than 6,800 miles away from the United States, it was quite astonishing to find an Egyptian artifact in the dunes. It was a very interesting find, but the mystery behind the out-of-place artifact didn't linger for long. It turned out that they discovered an authentic relic, but it wasn't built by the ancient Egyptians. The Sphinx was part of the set of the 1923 Hollywood blockbuster, The Ten Commandments. It was one of the most magnificent in history. To capture the real essence of the story, the film was shot on a massive set that was about 12 stories high and 800 feet wide. The final touch was the Egyptian artifacts, including the Sphinxes made from plaster of Paris. About 1,300 craftsmen worked to finish the set and they used over 25,000 pounds of nails and 250 tons of plaster of Paris. Number 3. Mysterious Scottish Skyscrapers These massive structures are the Brocks. They're among the most mysterious features of Scottish history, and to this day, little is known about them. Most of them date back from 2,000 years ago in the Iron Age. There are about 700 of them across Scotland, with some being a little more impressive than others. Although they show signs of age and weathering, you can see that they were elaborately made and they often reach extreme heights. I was about to say, whatever it was, it was huge. We still don't know why these ancient skyscrapers were built by people between 600 BC and AD 100. Could it be that these structures were built for protection, a status symbol, or a way to boast power? Number 2. Ancient Computer <laughs> In 1901, sponge divers discovered this strange artifact off the Greek island of Antikythera. What we like, I see this strange computer so much that like I'm always I'm almost starting to feel like I'm obligated to figure out how it works. We have today is only a fragment of the original, but it's easy to see that the artifact resembled a gear wheel. For many years, researchers were puzzled as to what it was, but as it turned out, this artifact, known as the Antikythera mechanism, was an ancient computer. A modern scan revealed that 2,000 years ago, this mechanism tracked the motions of the Sun, Moon, and five planets, making it one of the earliest known computers in history. Although we now have an idea as to what it does, researchers are still unsure who made the mechanism and how they had the knowledge to create such an elaborate machine. Number 1. Mysterious Egyptian Cult Recently, headless falcons were discovered in an ancient Egyptian temple along with a mysterious inscription. This discovery has been puzzling archaeologists and Egyptologists since it was found. The artifacts allegedly belong to a previously unknown cult in the eastern Egyptian desert. Aside from the headless falcon statues, archaeologists also found actual mummified remains of headless falcons inside the site, which is now known as the Falcon Shrine. They also found an inscription that read, It is improper to boil a head in here. We're still quite unsure what exactly this means, and Egyptologists are still trying to discover more about this strange ancient cult. We still have a lot more things to discover about our past, and we will surely have a lot more mysterious archaeological finds to unravel in the future. For now, we'll try to uncover the secrets of these mysterious finds. 
Before you go, make sure to share the most intriguing archaeological discovery you know about in the comments down below. Also, check out our other... Yeah, that, that's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, man, y'all get at me in the comment section, bro. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Some great, great finds, man, that they're finding. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more to come. Yeah, we're going to find them. Stay tuned. Shabuel, I'm gone. Peace.